Welcome to Basis Juice, presented by Points Bet Sportsbook. I'm the prop queen, Ariel Epstein, here in our lovely studios in downtown Manhattan. Now, a quick show today with a quick recap and picks. Let's take a moment of silence for the New York Mets. They are no longer allowed to play baseball. The Mets games were postponed Saturday, Sunday. Those were in New York. That was against the Braves. That forced a Monday doubleheader. Then yesterday... The Mets finally leave New York, where the rain just didn't stop. They traveled to Detroit. The Mets got postponed again. Mets and Tigers play a day-night doubleheader today with the return of Mets right-hander Mad Max Scherzer in the night game, coming off a 10-game suspension for use of an illegal substance. Now that we gave our pity and condolences to the Mets, let's move on to another team that probably shouldn't be allowed to play baseball anymore. Actually, that's the Chicago White Sox. Welcome to the Major League, Chicago. You guys finally have won back-to-back games for the first time all season, both in walk-off fashion. Yesterday, White Sox left fielder Andrew Benatendi hit a walk-off single in the bottom of the 10 to get the 3-2 win over the Twins. Now, the White Sox were plus 140 home dogs. Chicago's 9-21 this season, the third least wins in the majors behind the Athletics and Royals, who have 6-7. and seven. A win today or tomorrow gives the White Sox their first series win of the season. Now, another extra innings upset. The Cincinnati Reds at plus 165 on the money line beat the Padres in 10 innings, 2-1. to one. Reds second baseman Jonathan India hit the go-ahead single in the top of the ninth, scoring Matt Reynolds. It snapped the Reds' nine-game losing streak at Petco Park. Home field advantage isn't much of a thing for the Padres. You're down six and a half units if you've been betting Padres home money lines. In the American League East, the Blue Jays bullpen blew another lead, falling seven to six to the Red Sox. Boston was a plus 115 home dog with another high nine and a half total going over at Fenway Park. The Blue Jays pen has blown a lead in each of the past three days, allowing nine runs, six home runs in just over 11 innings. That's a 5.56 bullpen ERA. Fenway Park, home to the most overs in baseball this year, with Boston going 12-6 and six over under, up just under six units. It's also a testament to the Red Sox hitting. They've scored 28 runs on 52 hits, including 10 home runs in their four-game win streak. The up-and-coming Japanese star, Masataka Yoshida, he's doing exactly what Boston hoped for, hitting 435 with four home runs and 13 runs batted in in his 12-game hit streak. His season average went from 167 to 298 in those 12 games. Also in the AL East, we hit the first five under, three and a half runs in Guardians-Yankees. Guardians rookie Tanner Bybee looked great keeping the Yankees scoreless through five innings. He got hit on a liner up the middle by Oswaldo Cabrera in the fifth, got out of the inning, didn't really look the same since, allowing a home run to Yankees rookie shortstop Anthony Volpe, then a double to Glaber Torres, which got him pulled from the game. It was the Guardians' bullpen who blew a 2-1 Guardians lead, resulting in a 4-2 Yanks win. Yankees ace Garrett Cole didn't even look as sharp as he has, despite the stat line. Six innings pitched, two runs allowed, eight strikeouts. He was getting in and out of trouble with a high pitch count early on, Cole. The Yankees still have sole possession of last place of the AL East, eight and a half games back of the Rays. All five teams in the American League East, though, are still above 500. I'm going to give the Orioles more love in the next segment. They put up 11 runs on the Royals, winning 11-7 yesterday. They're the third most profitable team to bet on for team total overs. You're up just under 10 units on the season, going over in 20 of 29 games, Baltimore. Not as many runs were scored in this game. The San Francisco Giants shut out the Houston Astros 2-0. The Giants were plus 150 road dogs, which shocked me most in this game. I gave out the over on Giants right-hander Anthony Desclafani's four-and-a-half strikeouts. If you would have told me he'd go eight innings, shut out baseball, allowing just three hits to the Astros, I would have thought for sure we cashed the over four-and-a-half strikeouts, no problem. Desclafani had three strikeouts, three, against a team with the 12th highest K rate in baseball against righties. Absolutely bizarre. You can't trust the Astros and their whiff rate, though. Last year, they were one of the league's least strikeout-prone teams, Houston. This year, the Astros strike out a lot more. It's very hit or miss, pun intended. Taking K-props against the Astros might be a stay away for me for the indefinite future. In the late game, despite the return of Phillies all-star Bryce Harper, the Phillies got smoked 13-1 to by the Dodgers. Harper went 0-4 in his return coming off Tommy John surgery. Dodgers starter Julio Urias went seven innings, allowing one run with 10 strikeouts. The Dodgers go for the four-game sweep this afternoon for 10 p.m. Eastern. An update on the top five profitable teams to bet on for the money line this season. The Rays, you're up just over 15 units betting them every day. The Pirates, 
at just under 14 units and a 40% return on investment. Then the Orioles, Braves, and Brewers to round out your top five most profitable money line teams in the league. The teams turning the least amount of profit, the Cardinals, Athletics, Royals, White Sox, and Guardians. Try to stay away from those teams, maybe. Coming up next, we'll try to make our own money. Stay right here on Basis Juice for best bets. Welcome back to Basis Juice presented by PointsBet Sportsbook. For some reason, I like a lot of AL East games today, starting with the Blue Jays at the Red Sox. The Jays are minus 145 road favorites, total 9.5. I like the Jays' team total over 2.5 runs in the first five innings. Toronto has put up five and six runs in the last two games. Last season, the Blue Jays averaged just below 10 runs per game in the second half of the season at Fenway Park. Red Sox right-hander Nick Pavetta not only has an ERA just under eight in his last three games, Canadian-born Pavetta has started in 11 games against the Jays, going one for four with a 5.83 ERA in his career. I'm going with that first five because the Red Sox bullpen still top 15. This is more of a Pavetta fade since he's allowed four of the last five teams he's faced to have three or more runs scored against him in the first five innings. Wind also playing a factor. It shows that there's about a 14% increase in extra base hits. I like this over. Blue Jays in the first five, two and a half runs. Another AL East team total over. The Baltimore Orioles over four and a half runs. That's full game. Baltimore is the most profitable team to bet team total overs on when they're on the road going 12-4 and four over under. You're just up over seven units if you've been betting this team over their team total on the road. This season, the Orioles are averaging just under six runs per road game. They are so fun to watch, especially the Baltimore shortstop Jorge Mateo, who's leading all shortstops in OPS. Royals righty Zach Greinke. 3-2 and two with a 4.55 ERA in his starts, 10 starts against the Baltimore Orioles, with teams hitting above 307 home runs against Granke this year. Baltimore's hot bats should stay hot. Team total over, 4.5 runs for the Orioles. That's also a shout-out to my friend Zach Maskovich, who told me I better bet this because after yesterday, this team is great. Great. I hope they are. Let's make the playoffs. One more AL East team to talk about, then I'm done with this division. I am very nervous to give out this under. It's for the Rays lefty Shane McClanahan under six and a half strikeouts. He has faced two other teams this year where he where they had low carry rates, and he went under in both of those. In fact, last year had six or less strikeouts in six of the nine games where he faced a low K rate team. That includes four of six at home that he went under. Pittsburgh has the fourth lowest K rate against lefties, with five of the eight lefties that the Pirates have faced going under their strikeout prop, averaging just over four strikeouts a start. It's a plus money play to the under, so I'm going to take a shot on the McClanahan under six and a half strikeouts. I hope I don't hate myself. Another scary under. Today's just a scary day. Angels right-hander Shohei Otani under six and a half strikeouts. Against a team with a low K rate, he's faced them twice. Otani faced Washington and Boston, had a max of six strikeouts. The Cardinals have the seventh lowest strikeout rate in baseball. It's the only consistent thing about the Cardinals from last year to this year is that they don't strike out a lot. Right-handers are 10 and 14 over under their strikeout prop this year against the Cards, averaging four and a half strikeouts to start. I still trust Otani on the mound. I'll fade the strikeouts. I like him, though, in the first five innings. I'll take the Angels on the first five money line. It's a little juiced here at points, but minus 150. I don't like to lay more than that. The Angels are 6-0 and in the first five innings with Otani pitching. The Cards, 1-3-2 and with their starter, Miles Michaelis, pitching through the first five innings. Notable hitter pitcher matchups, too, to target. Not in this game, but Angels money line. Uh, for other notable pitcher and hitter matchups, Twins right fielder Max Kepler is hitting 300 with three home runs against White Sox starter Dylan Cease. Rockies the age Charlie Blackman hitting 500 with three doubles and two home runs against Brewers Southpaw Eric Lauer. Angels infielder Anthony Rendon hitting 455 against Cardinals starter Miles Michaelis. Mostly singles, though. Blue Jays second baseman Kevin Biggio is hitting 357 with a double and two home runs against Red Sox starter Nick Pavetta. At Yankee Stadium today, Yankee second baseman Glaber Torres has great history against Guardians right-hander Shane Bieber. He's hitting 545 with a double and a home run. That's it for this Wednesday edition of Basis Juice presented by PointsFed Sportsbook. I'm the Prop Queen, Ariel Epstein. We'll see you Friday. Until then, good luck with your bets. 